And we are live again. Hmm. Anyway, I want to move this a little closer. Uh, no, that's going to sound terrible. Sorry. Yep. All right, and welcome to another exciting episode of Feel It Real Fun. My name is Mr. 2020. I'm Victoria. Today I'm wearing my lumberjack outfit. Yes, you are. <laughs> are you going to chop wood? Oh, it matches, chop carry wood. <laughs> it matches my undies and my socks and my shoes. And your socks. Well, what, they're red and uh, black? Yeah, you'll find out. I don't think you owned a pair that were red and black. Oh, I've got a pair that's black. Now, hang on. I just want to... While people are still joining... Okay. There we go. That's so, hopefully... It. Excellent. We can see okay. the comments. Yes. All right. So, we are live. Welcome to today's show. And we've got comments. Yes. This is excellent. We figured Overshare. out a really cool solution. From and Joe. Hi. From Cindy. Excellent. We can see your comments now. Boy, that's cool. And yeah. They're actually happening in real time on that, too. Yes. Wow. So today we're going to talk about energy again and uh, living a long time if you want to and why. By the way, I want to know. Ready? Real quick. This is off the cuff, but very deliberate. Yes. Okay. What's the thought of living to be 400 feel like to you? Living to 400? Yeah. If you could live to 400, what, you know, what's your if first emotional hear- reaction to that? That I'd be old and in bed and wouldn't be able to do anything that's what my wow but if i could be like this to 400 that'd be ace yep i'd get everything <laughs> done that i ever wanted to do probably <laughs> john walski says hi guys hi guys hey john walski <laughs> uh, the moo man so uh I want you to ponder that. While we're talking today, what would it be like if you could live to be like 400 or so? Because uh, I'm beginning to wonder if it's possible. Okay? So... Uh, yeah, because was, was that guy, was it in China? Yes, yeah, this Chinese herbalist guy who lived to be like 250 or something. Yeah. Just, and he said yeah. the number one factor was something like, what do you think? Or how do you think about life? How do you feel about life? Yeah, again, my word's not his. Yep. Guys, come We're just going to keep telling the guys we'll it's okay. <laughs> All right, we'll close the heavy lid. Yeah. So, just ponder that. What would life be like if you could live to be 250 to 400? Would you want to? What's the story that you tell? What's the emotional reaction that you have to that? Mm. Because, I, you know, here's what... Uh, what do you get? Because I told you what, what do I, I get. get? <laughs> Look at me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Right? I don't want to learn algebra again. Okay? Catholic school was tough enough the last time. Right? So... Here's what I want you to think about while we're talking. Ponder Mm. that whole thing. If you could live to be 400, what would it be like? Okay, what's your reaction to it? Not just, it would be nice. I could drive the same car. So does everyone live to 400? Uh, Or do you get married four times? (laughs) (laughs) Or like, do Uh, you 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 better pick someone who's aligned with you, right? (laughs) And your kids, because otherwise... Yeah, Yeah, well, kids come, kids go. So (laughs) try this on. Okay, second thought real quick. Uh, if she knows. Uh, we eat for energy, okay? Whatever the meal is, does it energize you? How does it make you feel for the next three, four hours, right? A lot of people eat meals that make them feel bad, okay? Just notice this because here's another thing that I suspect, and we're going to tie this in shortly, right? Mm. Okay, you know, if you want to find out how your meal is going to affect you, your meals are going to affect you for the next 30, 40 years, notice how they affect you for the next three hours, in other words, don't ignore if you eat a donut and you feel like crap. Yeah, that happens to me a lot. Yeah, well, it, it happens to me every time I eat donuts. Yes. But I love donuts. But, but do you have them four times a day? No, no. Right. But um, why not? Because of the way they make her feel. Oh, I'd feel crap. See? I'd be a total... See, she, I feel she, sick after them almost. And So, so, so yeah. here's the thing. Ready? What if... Okay, by the way, I also want to know how much energy do you have during a day? I, I am not always... Yeah, 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 yeah. Energy... Uh, doesn't have to be you know, rah rah re. Okay, energy can be very subtle. Yeah. Energy can be very still. We could have potential energy, and we can have kinetic energy. But if you look at most people that you see every day, they have something that I will call lethargy. Okay. Think about it. Okay. Hey, you know anyone like that? Uh, how's it going? Well, I'm making it through. I, let me tell you how I made it through <laughs> another day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Most people are living with lethargy. I'm making it through. Imagine this, right? And welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Make It Through Another Episode of Feel It Real. 
<laughs> right? That's how most people are living their days. Yeah, they, by the way, yeah. and we could just sit here and do this. Hmm. Is it lethargy? Is it you also could, apathy? Well, I don't same know. thing, as far as I'm concerned, yeah. for this discussion. Yeah. But we can be silent, right? We could just sit here and do this. Yeah. <laughs> and the energy's here. Yeah. So energy. So you've got potential energy. Here we go. Ready? <sighs> yeah. Right? People can just look and go, wow, look at you two. Or they can watch us doing what we do, right? That's yeah. kinetic energy, energy in motion. But most people seem to have almost no energy or just static. Mm. <sighs> right? There's actually been loads of comments. And now that we can see comments, I'd cool. just Victoria, like to say... Victoria, toss in the comments. Yes. So um, to the question about living to 400 or something like that. Yep. Um, Joe, so if you want to, Yasmin's, hmm... Um, Joe would feel ancient. <laughs> Sarah's, oh, wow. Um, sh- K, short of breath. I don't know, maybe that's... Pauline <laughs> said, whoa, what a question. Whoa, what a question, Pauline. And then Sarah said, actually, it got me excited and I imagined I'd just be as young and as energetic mm-hmm. as I am today. Um, Ginny wondered about that too. Joe said, 150 years old is right around the corner, <laughs> nanotech. Well, yeah. That's right. Um, Becca said more time to play and then we're on to meals. Yasmin says, I love eating meals that make me feel great for hours. Yeah. 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 Cool. Oh, look at all the things there. There's things yeah. going up since we can do the comments. Oh, good. This is so Excellent. Cool. Everyone gets appreciated yes. and yeah, it's lovely. So, so, so check this out. Okay. If, if, when I was a child, mm. high energy involved one of three states. Anger, okay, mom and dad are fighting, yeah. okay, fear, <laughs> mom and dad are I'm fighting. I'm running away from here. <laughs> yeah, 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 mom and dad are fighting. Get me outside. <laughs> or a distraction. Yay, 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 time to pass out, right? Think about it. Most people that you know probably have most high energy states mm. associated with somebody throwing down, okay, <clears throat> Or throwing down, okay? Yeah. Running from being thrown down on. Yeah. Okay? Or it's distraction time, yay, and you wake up the next morning with the hangover. Yeah. Right? So that's high energy states. Okay. I'm just trying to think of all the people I know. Yeah. Yeah. All four. Yeah. All four. I don't (laughs) know many people. All four. (laughs) So, So here's the thing, right? High energy, okay, can be this. Look. You get it? This is high energy. High energy can also be, let's go dig a hole. Yes. High energy can be, let's go to the dog park. Yes. High energy. So here's the thing. If you're avoiding high energy, because there's a, what's called a complex equivalence with high energy equals fear, anger, distraction, hangover, right? Mm. If you're avoiding high energy, you're going to avoid eating energy or eating food that will give you high energy. You will avoid See, states that will give you high energy. When you talk about high energy, I know you talked about kinetic and the other one. And potential, I, yes. But, uh, or potential. And I'm thinking of high energy as in, yes, we can physically have high energy or we could mentally have high energy. Yes. Without the body. Totally. Being, do you know what I mean? Yes. Like, um... Our mind can be really highly energized when we're working on a project or on, I don't know, when I, you're working I, on I, some I go stuff. shopping and the lethargy is pure entertainment for me. I feel like I'm in the land of the zombies. Yeah. You get it? Yeah. Yeah. So let's try this on. I wish the puppies would calm down. Okay? Just explore that. Yeah, you ever hear that? Calm down. Yeah. Oh. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, right? it just makes you go, ah! <laughs> Don't tell me to calm down! <laughs> and by the way, when you do calm down, because at some point you go, yeah, I'm calm now. Yeah. How do you really feel? Yeah, crap. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So let's play a game called Calm Down uh, is crap, right? On the other hand, you can be at peace with high energy. I, I'm at peace letting you see me love her. I'm at peace admitting that I can have crazy moments, okay? I'm not going... I'm the perfect guru, and I've never had a meltdown. <laughs> I had a meltdown about 30 minutes ago with Emmett, right? Yeah, because he had a little thing, and we had to look at it, right? Yeah. I'm telling Victoria, do this! <laughs> right? Mm. Yeah, meltdown, right? But I'm okay sharing that. I'm at peace sharing that. I'm not, okay, let me calm down and explain my weaknesses. Mm. Yeah, like mm. a good preacher man, right? Mm. No. Okay, you get it? This whole thing with energy, you can become at peace. By the way, do you think, 
God is calm. Right? Look at look, look at all these old stories. <laughs> yep, and God is calm. Right? No. <laughs> Okay. Look how energized cre- he was to create yeah. all he did in seven oh. days. <laughs> right? So what can you do in seven days? Yeah. God. Okay. Now think about this. Ready? What are the qualities associated with divinity? Peace, love, joy. You get it? Not calm down. Mm. Cannot think it all through and plan it all excessively and then someday get around to it. Okay? Mm. That's called metering. Okay? Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think so I can never get around to doing it. Yeah. So here's my proposal. Ready? What if you could live to be 400, 450? Okay. I don't know if you can. I know that I might. It it, it comes down to this kind of stuff when people say, I want you to prove it to me. (laughs) Right. I'm I'm too busy living my life to prove it to you. But I will invite you to explore and do this. I'm going to, yeah. So, So we invite you to explore what if you had more energy? What if you examine the complex equivalences you have around high energy? Okay, it's finally calmed down. I can have my... Yeah. You get it? Yeah. You don't, have, you don't got to live that anymore. You, it's like that. It's a bit like that manic depressive state that a lot of people have, like sure. the really super highs and then the super lows and stuff like that instead of it just being highly energized. Look at this thing called addiction, which <clears> is currently <throat> defined as a disease. Look at this thing called depression that's currently defined as a disease. Mm. Same thing with mm. anxiety. Guess what? Everyone pretty much is working with these. The yeah. thing is they're, they're mostly undiagnosed, so they can't be treated. Uh, let's play a game called bullshit. Yeah. Okay? Here's the thing. It's, it's not about diagnoses and treating the symptoms. What if you realize that what you are is this fiery being that Neville talks about shooting arrows? Right? Mm. Okay, what if that's what your visions and dreams actually are? Go to NevilleGoddardQuotes.com. Type in the word fiery or arrows. Type in the word arrows at NevilleGoddardQuotes.com. Oh, yeah, you'll go straight to the lecture. So go right to that, right? Mm. Here's the thing. What if that was the truth about you? What if you didn't have to be? You realize I'm 50, Mm. okay? For some reason, I'm much younger than my father was when he was 50. Mm. I'm much, much younger than my grandfather was when he was 50. And I'm not saying me personally. I'm saying, you you know, look at her. She's the age my grandma was when she died. <laughs> okay? My grandma was old. Wow. Okay? She isn't. Right? Yeah. Generally, we're getting younger. Uh, f- generally, 50 right now is 30. Okay? This is just a general thing. But what if you could really amp things up by accepting this thing that you give birth to all the energy? You are what gives life. Okay? You might enjoy uh, yeah, living a little bit more. What if you lived a higher percentage of every day? Okay, think about it. What if you actually lived? Mm -hmm. Most people I notice live about 20% out of a day, right? And so what if they were living 20% of the length of time they could hear on Earth? By the way, I'm not trying to avoid death, okay? Say that last bit again. What if they could? So what if if the average person is living 20% out of their day? That's how much energy they're metering, right? What if they're actually living 20% of their potential lifespan here on Earth as well? Well, then they, yeah, if they were doing that every day, then that's what they're doing. It's, oh, I see. Yeah. What? So right. if you allowed yourself to experience the energy that you can give birth to. Yeah. Okay. You get it? Hmm. What if you really let yourself experience the energy? <clears throat> yeah, I'm not saying what all there is is energy. Yeah, no, you give birth to energy. Okay. Don't get stuck with that. Okay. You give birth to energy. Okay. You are what gives life. Get it? Okay, have fun with this. So maybe we'll get this one transcribed too. Okay, so... we got some comments. Yeah, got some comments. So um, Joe said magnifying glass. No, for the comments, it's another iPad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we, so we've yeah, got we this iPad out. hooked up to the uh, 4G network thing, yeah. right? So it doesn't screw with that one. Yeah. It doesn't screw with that one, right? And he mentioned like the guy. sugar... Susan said, I'm feeling high energy and high vibration yet peaceful. Very nice. Yasmin said, ha ha. The leth- uh, Susan, the, le- the lethargy. I, I don't know why I have a problem saying that word. Maybe because I'm never really like it. <laughs> <laughs> you know anybody lethargic? <laughs> <laughs> and God is chaos, chaos, perhaps. And we find the beauty in the chaos. Okay, it's fascinating. <clears throat> All right. So how do you bring this home today? Okay, this could be a nice, funny little talk, something to ponder and think about, right? In other mm. words, it goes freaking nowhere. Mm. Okay, or you can actually start embodying this. Okay, mm. how do you do that? 
Okay, we'll be playing more with this. Leave comments. Let us know what you think. Okay, mm. we're really enjoying the feedback here because this is some good stuff. And uh, mm. that's it. Let's yeah. play a game called Discover What You Are so you can actually uh, really enjoy life here. It's well worth it. Ah, and visit us at NevilleGoddardQuotes.com. Look up the word arrows. Yeah. Okay, that'll get you that one quote. And if you want to have some other fun bonus stuff, uh, just peek around. There's some lovely quotes on there uh, about you are what gives life. Okay? When you, when you stop denying that, you have access to unlimited energy. Okay? You. Get it? Hmm. So, uh, hey, Max. Hmm. So, uh, that's it. Visit us at freenovel.com. Join us in Manifesting Mastery. Uh, we just love the uh, friendships and fellowships we get in there. And join us at the dog park if you're local. Yeah. Anything else you want to toss in? No, I reckon that's good. All right. Have a wonderful day. My name is Mr. 2020. I'm Victoria. We love you guys. Have a wonderful yeah. day. And we will see you at freenevel.com. See ya. Manifesting Mastery. Both of those or something. Probably both. Maybe right. Freenevel got, uh, got a quote as well. That's right. <laughs> okay. Cool. See ya.